welcome Greg Wesley! Um, how do you feel, dude? I mean, it's getting closer and closer. How do you feel? I feel incredible. Yeah? Yeah, we got a great group of guys. We're training like madmen right now, so I wish Sochi was tomorrow. I'm ready to get on that plane and go. It's the most brutal thing. Okay, listen, I've never seen a sport before that has, like, this is the stick. First of all, look at this. Yeah. This is some danger of Will Robinson right there, man. Like, like this is this is not an easy sport to play, and it's a tough one. Yeah, and especially off the faceoffs, there's a lot of jabbing the guys in there, and I got scars all up and down my rib cage. And really? Oh, absolutely. What is wrong? With, why would you do that? You know, it's. <laughs> You know, I, I want to win a gold medal. Yeah. I'm such a proud, I, I'm that typical Canadian proud hockey player, yeah. and I will do anything to win. And right. if that's stab a guy in, in the ribs, I, I, <laughs> sometimes it has to be done. Somewhere, he's not watching, but somewhere Don Cherry just smiled and didn't know why. Love it. Right? Love he's, it. Just to see, oh, something feels good. Yeah. You know? So when you first started to play, did you, were you aware of how rough it was? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I just had to go physically try it, and I thought I'd be the best player on the ice right away because I had played some hockey before, yeah. and I got out there and it was absolutely terrible. Uh, you have to develop a really strong upper body. Like, some of these guys on our team are just freaks in the gym. We don't get in the habit of playing commercials on the show, uh, you know, unless they're paying for it, but there's one commercial that I saw the other day, and everybody I've talked to about it has this really interesting reaction to it. Let's take a look at this one here. People, didn't it? Yeah, I, you know, with, with it being a beer commercial, I feel, I feel like we missed the boat. It should have been hockey players in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's an outstanding commercial. We live in a culture that is certainly in sports that celebrates the elite level athletes and the, the fine physical conditioning and all that. But for the longest time, Paralympians were not really represented on television in that kind of way. So what do you think when you see something like that? I, I think it's an incredible commercial. It's uh, e e e our sports thrive on able bodied people playing our sports. Uh, there's a lot of small communities in Canada that you might be the only disabled person in the community. And so, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a kid, and there's a lot of communities out there that there might be one person missing his legs, and so his brothers or his sisters or people jump in a sled and play with that person, and that's how programs get started. And so that, that commercial hit the nail on the head. Do you feel like, I mean, that you are held to a different standard because it's Paralympics and you actually, you have to always be, you're always an ambassador, you're always a representative and some, you, yeah, yes and no. I, on one hand, I really want to be that ambassador because somewhere there's a kid missing his feet that has no idea that sledge hockey even exists. Yeah. And I need to be a good, a good ambassador so that when that kid sees it, he wants to play because we need all the athletes we can get. Yeah. So th that's the one part. And, uh, you, you know, past that, it, Hockey Canada treats us no different. When they took us under their umbrella and said, you know, we're going to have Team Canada sledge hockey, their first comment to us was, you better win gold. Our match is that <laughs> for all the teams. Can you cheat? Like with this thing, do you, do you, is there like regulations? If, you, if I could find a way to cheat, yeah. I would have. Seriously? Absolutely. <laughs> you can't say that when you're going to the Olympics. <laughs> we'll be all right. Are you guys gonna get drug tested? Yeah, we get. I just got drug tested uh, two months ago. I get, it's probably my 10th time in my life. Is it a nervous experience? Yeah, yes and no. I mean, it's nerve, it's nerve wracking because you have somebody directly watching you yeah. pee in a cup. Right. So that's not the most comfortable experience to go through. You know, your shirt goes up above your chest and your pants go down below your knees. <laughs> So that part of it's uncomfortable. Right. But, you know, I know what goes in my body, and I feel very comfortable with passing the test. What, what is your trick? You know, the can opener move when you play hockey at a face-off, when you're playing stand-up hockey, you know, at a triple guy when the ref's not watching. Aside from the stab, what's the, your signature? What's, what, what is like a play-by-play? -play? Oh, there's a Westlake. Yeah, so, I, I, you know, other than the chirping, I, I love to talk a lot. Yeah. I, I chirp a lot. I try to <laughs> just make, I just rip on guys. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to. Every, you need those agitators, so I like to be that guy. Well, uh... I'd say good luck, but I don't want to jinx you. Just, <laughs> as you know, just go win, baby. I just, appreciate it, yeah. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Right 2014 Paralympic Winter Games start March 7th. Uh, Sochi, check out the highlights of all the action on TV2. Go Westlake, we'll be right back.